Lord, for your glory. It's so heavy in this place, Lord God, right now, Father God. We just honor you, God. We give you all the praise, Lord God. Have your way today, Father God. Have your way, Lord God. We thank you for the infilling, Lord, of the Holy Spirit, filling every heart with love, Lord this evening, Father God, and those who are brokenhearted, you are right here, ready to heal them, Lord, ready to bind up those wounds today, Father God, ready to do a new thing, Lord God, we thank you so much for what you're going to do, we give you all the praise, Lord, and the honor, and the glory, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. praise the Lord, those are going to be the new worship, you my please, those are going to be the new worship, amen. So I want to encourage you guys to understand, think about it. Don't give anything, don't give it if you're not going to give it to the church. Amen? If you're giving it to the church, you're giving it unto the Lord, you're sowing it to the Word of God. Amen? Amen. And God is going to bless you. Amen? Amen? The reason why we've been blessed is because we're tithers. Amen? Amen. Before we're walking under, under a curse. Amen? Almost having our rent paid. Amen? Almost having a fixed car. Amen? Driving, driving a car with a... a you know, with potential pop tires, even having to get new tires, not new tires, but replace our tires almost every month. Amen. Always hitting obstacles because we wanted to keep our whole check. Amen. But once we started tithing, I'm telling you, God kept blessing us over and over and over and over again. Amen. To the point where I've lost my debit cards and people came up to me and say, are you David Benton Court? Amen. Is this yours? Amen. Literally, you know, people coming up to me, giving me back my debit card. I lost my debit card like three times. And people restored my debit card. Amen. And that's the Lord. Amen. Because you know, you know what the word of God says? God will rebuke the devourer. Amen. Anyone trying to rob you, anyone trying to steal from you, the Lord will rebuke them. And I want to see you guys get blessed. Amen. I got so blessed tithing that, you know, uh, uh, I double tithe. Amen. I double tithe. Amen. Word. I made a decision to understand. You know what? Because I'm double tithing, I know that. God is going to bless me. Amen. So I want to encourage you. Don't limit God. Amen. If you're short on your bills, the first thing you need to pay is pay God back. Amen. Because God will bless you. This is what I'm asking you guys. Is to trust in a living God. To trust in a living God that is able. So I want to encourage you. God is going to use you to bless all truth church because new people are going to come. Amen. And I believe that our purpose here is to beautify the sanctuary, yeah. amen, because you guys are already beautiful, amen? Uh -huh. We want to beautify the sanctuary because when people come in, we want them to get encouraged, we want to get them blessed, amen? Everyone that comes into this house, they're a guest, amen? I don't care if they're homeless, they're off the street, amen, if they're from the hood, amen, amen. if they're coming from the gay bar, amen? Okay. Everything that comes here, they're a guest, amen, but they all, we all got to repent, can I get an amen? amen. We all got to come clean, we all got to be born again. Amen? Amen? And that's what we're going to teach here. Amen? No matter who comes into the house of God, what does the Bible say? Bring the good and the bad people in. Amen? And God's going to sort them out. Amen? But we got to keep on speaking the truth. So I want to encourage you guys, come full force, because God is in the process, I believe he's in the process of raising you guys up. Can I get an amen? He's in the process of raising you guys up, because we believe in the fivefold ministry. Amen? It's not just the pastor. Amen? It's the apostle. It's the prophet. It's the teacher and it's the evangelist. Can I get an amen? amen? It's not just good enough to teach them. We got to reach them. Can I get an amen? amen? How does that saying go? Teach, teach preach, preach, reach. reach. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, you know, me and my wife were, we were arguing, saying, well, well, you know, maybe it should be reach um, and then preach, then teach. And she's like, well, no, you got to teach them first. And we're just going back and <laughs> forth. <laughs> But amen. <laughs> but but God is calling us to take it to the next level. And I want you guys to, to believe in yourself that you guys are the fivefold ministry, that you have a voice. Amen. Amen. That you that you guys have the ability that God has made you the church and we can make a difference. Amen. I want you guys to cast a vision and see this church growing, getting built up for the Lord. Because I mean know God is able. See, God already told us He gave us everything we need. Amen. It's all here. Amen. It's all here to get to the next level. Matter of fact, we're going to get ready to start a Gospel Kingdom TV. Amen. And what Gospel Kingdom TV is, it's a broadcast, it's a network. Amen. Where we would do our videos and we would just put them on YouTube. Amen. 
And we believe what we're already looking at, Sister Ruthie has been one of the speakers, amen. And we want to maybe do some videos once a week, amen, and just start putting them on Gospel Kingdom TV because YouTube is around the world, amen. Yeah. And we want to impact the nations. But how many of the enemies are always attacking? Because right now when I had the video playing, it just said it just got it just got black blocked in eight, I don't know if it was eight states or eight countries, amen. But the enemy is always attacking because he, he doesn't want God's word to come out. You know what that tells me? Is that the enemy is scared, amen, that That's all two right. churches are threat, amen, that God has called us, that you are a people to be reckoned with, amen, that God has a plan and a purpose for your life, and God is calling us to stand, amen. amen. If you're here, amen, you're not alone because you represent a nation, amen, you represent an army, amen, God has called you to be part of this movement and this team because you are going to make a difference. Can I get an amen? Amen. See, I'm excited, amen, because I know God is protecting our family, amen. amen. God is protecting our loved ones, amen. And I know that no weapon formed against us shall right. prosper. Can I get a right. witness? No weapon formed against us will prosper. I believe that God is our shield. I believe that God is a wall of fire around us, amen. I believe that God is mightier and greater than the enemy. In Psalms chapter 2, the word of God says that God laughs at the devil's threats. Can I get an amen? That when, the, when the devil starts talking, God starts laughing. Can I get an amen? We serve a good God. So let's go ahead and pray, amen. Father God, we just praise you, God. I pray, God, that you cover your people, that you cover them with the blood of Jesus. Father, I pray, God, any needs, any cares, Father God, that anybody has here, that you would take those cares and burdens. And God, it's not by might nor power, but it is by your spirit. I pray, God, that we will just begin to change gears and understand that we are people full of purpose, that we are people of purpose, that you have put your purpose on us, that we have a mandate from heaven, that you have called us, that you have ordained us, my God, that you are transforming us, that you are delivering us, my God, that, God, you're, you're going to do the work in us and through us, my God. Let us remain faithful. Let us remain planted, Father God. Let us bear fruit that remains, my God. And we give you the glory and the praise, my God. I thank you, God, that you're protecting my son, that your, your hand is upon my son, God. And we just rejoice that you are with him, God, and that you're going to be with him, God. And you're going to also be, Father God, with every person that's here, every loved one that's represented, my God, that you're also going to be with them. We give you all the glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And God is good. Amen. Well, I'm excited to be at church. Amen. Praise God. God is good. Amen. Well, you know, uh, I'm excited for the speaker that's going to come up. Amen. Amen. Brother Marcelino. Amen. Woo. I can't stop bragging about Marcelino. Amen. His name actually means hammer. Say hammer. It's a hammer time. Wow. Amen. Hammer time. But his name actually means young warrior. Wow. Young warrior. So he's like a Joshua. Amen. God is raising him up. We praise God for his faithfulness to the Lord, amen, for, for keeping his commitment and his vow to God, amen, and I believe God is raising this man up. I just want to call him up to, to share a word, amen, Brother Marcino Perez, amen, from the tribe of Judah, amen, praise the Lord. Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> I'm Brother Marcelino. Uh, welcome to All Truth Church Friday night Bible study. Yeah, let's uh, let the lion roar. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. You know, God is uh, starting and been starting a revival. You know, the people are 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 coming out loud and strong in the name of Jesus. And uh, you know, you see it all around the world. You know, there's a lot of things that are going on in this world that are are hidden, like Pastor was saying earlier. That you know, the Lord. He knows our hearts and he knows what we do. But those things that are hidden, yes, he, he honors that as well. But, you know, those things as the body of Christ that we do in, in, in uh, unity is uh, together in one, you know, the body of Christ is very strong. And yes, yes, we can on. do all things through Christ who's Amen. Us, so, That's right. Uh, praise God for that. Thank you, Jesus. Um, before I get started, I just um, I wanted to just lift up uh, the people of Florida. Yes. People of Florida are going through the natural disaster, the hurricane, and um, also the other states, maybe South Carolina, I believe, and um, the, maybe the state north of that, I can't recall. Um, but I just want to lift them up in prayer, you know. Um, again, the Lord does things for 
a reason. We don't know his reasons. We don't know why, you know. But the thing is, uh, we got to keep them in prayer. We got to pray for ourselves as well. But um, you know, God, God can do practically anything He wants. He, he is, Amen. He is in charge of everything. And you know, God, God is not here to punish us. Uh, he just wants us to love each other, to love Him. You know, He gave His Son Jesus to us. You know. Amen. He transformed Jesus into man to live on this world and, and go through and endure life and, and go through the things that we go through daily. And then to to sacrifice, the ultimate sacrifice, he, he died on that cross. And, uh, yes. you know, yes. his, his blood, you know, he, he, he paid the penalty for our sins. Hallelujah. You know, that's how much God loves us. And, um, you know, on the way over here, I was, uh, I was listening to uh, Paul Wilbur. And uh, one of the songs is the Holy of Holies, and that song is so, so anointing, so anointed, uh, I should say, that um, I just, I, I, I heard about that song a few years back, and I remember when I was first starting my walk with the Lord, I used to start that song on my devotion time, and that song is really, really powerful, so if you get a chance, uh, look it up, Paul Wilbur, uh, Holy of Holies, yes. it's a very awesome song. But again, um, I just, if uh, you guys would be in agreement with me now, and uh, I just want to lift up Florida and all the people in the surrounding areas. So Lord, Father God, I just thank you, Lord, for this time, Lord, Father God, that you bring us together, Lord, in one, Lord, Father, for your will, Lord, for your, for your glory, Lord, Father. We pray to you, Lord, Father God, that we lift up the people in Florida and the surrounding areas, Lord, Father God. We lift up all the people that are still in, in despair, Lord Father, that they're distraught, Lord Father God. We ask that there would be extraordinary miracles, Lord Father, supernatural strengths, Lord Father God. That, Lord Father, the people would come together, Lord, and act in love, Lord, as what you have commanded us, Lord Father God. We act so the Holy Spirit would, would be with them and, and show them the way, Lord Father God. They would, they would be able to come to you, Lord Father God for shelter, for, for, for comfort, Lord Father God. Lord Father, we ask that this would be the time that those that didn't know you, Lord, that don't know you, Lord Father, they would, their eyes would be opened up, Lord, and they would be able to see you, Lord, in your love, in your light, Lord Father God. We ask and continue to lift up those in, and, and that are in need there, Lord Father God, as well as our brothers and sisters of Christ there, Lord Father God. We ask that you would be able to give them the strength that they need, Lord, to protect the others, Lord Father God. Give them the, the finances to, to do what they need, Lord Father God. We pray for the people there, Lord Father, the people there on their way, Lord, to help, Lord Father God. We pray for the leadership there, Lord, in that state, Lord Father God, as well as all the agencies and, and uh, government um, officials, Lord Father God. We pray for the president, Lord Father God, for he is the one in charge of mostly of everything that is going on in this country, Lord Father God. But most of our, uh, Most of all, Lord Father, um, I just ask that, you know, our people, our brothers and sisters uh, would come to you, Lord, and we would repent, Lord Father God, yes. that we could repent to you, Lord Father yes. God, that you would heal our land, Lord Jesus, yes. that we would come to you and surrender all things. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I pray, yes. and I lift up everybody there, Lord Father God, and as their brothers and sisters are in agreement with me tonight, Lord Father God, we just ask that they would be able to get comfort in, in this time, Lord Father God, that that your light would be able to shine in this moment of, of despair for them, Lord Father God. Father, for many have lost many things, Lord Father, with their just physical things, Lord Father God. We ask that you would be with them to heal their hearts, Lord Father. Give them unforgiveness, Lord Father God. Let them see you, Lord Father God. Let them feel you and your love, your people, Lord Father God. I just pray for them now, Lord Father, and everything that's coming into this world, Lord Father God. For you are in control, Lord, for your will be done. And I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 All right, guys. Well, I appreciate that. Um, I, I, I was told I was going to speak tonight, uh, last week. And I was like, well, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Because, again, I just, you know, had a little message on my birthday. Uh, just a, what, a week ago, something like that. Um, you know, I asked the Lord, well, you know, what would I speak about? What, do, what am I going to talk about, Lord? And, you know, the, the first message I had spoke about was uh, step into faith. You know, faith is like big, major big, major big. And um, I was sharing with everyone, you know, we can, we can go every week, every day to a study on faith, you know. 
faith is just so big. And, you know, when I was a, a babe in Christ, when I just started walking with the Lord, you know, I, I didn't really understand what faith was. I, I, I knew I knew what faith was, but uh, I grew up as a Catholic person that didn't go to church every Sunday, but I knew when I did go to church, you know, I, I liked it, you know. I liked God. I, I was scared of God. You gotta be scared of God. And I know there were certain things that I shouldn't be doing. Um, you know, as, as a Catholic, I, I was um, I was uh, taught certain things and certain rituals, ways to uh, to uh, honor my Lord. And you know, now walking as a Christian, um, I just totally feel like the veil has been taken off. Amen. You know, I, I I'm able to see clearly. Yes. I'm able to hear better. Yes. And I just thank. You. Uh, the Lord for the things that He's done um, in my life. Man. You know, there's nothing wrong with uh, yeah, thank you, Lord. There's nothing wrong with uh, you know, other there's different practice of religions. I, I guess you could say there's uh, you know Pentecostal, there's uh, you know non-denominational and whatnot. You know, and at the end of the day, I, I believe that the Lord really, you know, He sees the way that people are. But the Lord, at the end of the day, is going to judge you on the way you serve him. Not by what title you're going to, not because you belong to Four Square Church, not because you're at Calvary Chapel. Nothing against any of these churches, mind you. I've been to many churches in my day and I thank God that he put me in those churches because I was able to grow and and allow to uh, build from that. Again, without the foundation of our Lord and, and the foundation that he set upon me, I wouldn't be able to move and, and grow from that situation so I thank the Lord for that again you got to stay stable you got to find a home church and you know I, I've been around the block like I said my walk started back in what uh, 2010 I believe uh, out there in the little town of Banning I started at Four Square Church um, there was uh, people of a hundred or so and by the time I had actually left that church there was probably only a handful maybe 30 some people there um, praise God, my mom's still attending Four Square Church there, and now coming here to All Truth Church as well. <laughs> so I'm just saying, um, it's, it's good to get, it's good to get uh, planted and established in a uh, home church. You know, I started coming here to All Truth Church uh, a year ago. It's a little over a year now, and you know, I I felt it and tested the spirits. Like you know, I was taught to do that. If you don't think something's right, you have to ask the Lord. And the discernment he gives you, he'll let he'll let you know. Oh, yeah. yes. And you know, even from not stepping inside this building, I was there in the hospital bed, and uh, all true church here were praying for me while I was going through surgery. Yeah. And um, I asked the Lord. I said, Lord, you know, it seems you know yeah. like they're they're pretty good. I know my brother Roland had been telling me for years, hey, you need to come to all true church. And um, I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll be there, you know, soon. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. That, that was the word, and, and I, I got to speak this because, again, now that I, I am walking with the Lord, I hear people saying it all the time, and they're saying, I'm not ready yet, I'm not ready yet. So, um, to tie that in with my message for tonight is, uh, you know, this, the message of tonight is uh, more of you, less of me. Amen. And um, Amen. we're going to be studying on uh, the book of John, Amen. it's going to be John 3. Um, I just want to say another thing, a quick prayer, before I get started. Um, the Lord spoke to me on this. Uh, again, last message that He had given me, He had told me about faith, that we need to step into faith. Um, the Lord spoke over three different passages and messages for this, uh, tonight's, uh, you know, tonight's uh, message. And He didn't finalize the final yeah. message out of the three until roughly an hour ago or so. And that's the Lord. You know, he, yeah. he won't give it to you right away and he won't be late. He's going to give it to you when he's ready. Yeah. So yeah. praise God for that. I, I knew it was coming. I just, uh, I'm, you know, going to be in, in uh, obedience to him and to his word. So I'm going to go ahead and pray now before we get started. Lord Father God, I just thank you, Lord, for this honor, Lord Father God. I submit myself to you, Lord Father God. For nothing of me, Lord Father, and everything of you, Lord Father God. I ask the Holy Spirit would give me the right words to say, Lord Father, to your people, Lord Father. 
For it's nothing that, that I have done, for nothing that I say, nothing that I can do, Lord Father. For you are everything, Lord. You're the Lord of King of Hosts, Lord of Hosts, Lord Father God. You're the Almighty Abba Father. And I thank you and praise you, Lord Father, for you, you're doing. And I thank you, Lord, for giving us your son. And thank you, Jesus, for what you did there and died on the cross. By your precious blood, Lord Father God, I act and come submitly and humble to you, Lord Father. Jesus, I thank you. I praise you. Let this message come to those that need to hear it, Lord Father God. Let it spread like wildfire, Lord Father God. Let your anointing be over me and upon this word, Lord Father God. And let it bless the nations, Lord Father God. And continue to do our, your mighty work, Lord, as the body of Christ. And I praise you and I worship you. I glorify your name. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, guys. So <laughs> I just want to thank you guys all for being here tonight. I know there's uh, some of you that weren't able to make it tonight. So I just want to thank you for tuning in tonight. Um, again, this message is uh, John 3, more of you, less of me. Um, when I was putting this together, the Lord was just saying, you know, the first first um, step he was telling me is you got to come into faith. And once you walk into faith, you know, yes. he's able to work with you. Yes. Um, again, the Lord is able to do all things. Amen. And um, the thing it starts with is is for you to come to Jesus, you know, um, a lot of people don't know how about to go and, and getting right with the Lord, so for me, speaking on my behalf, um, I always knew there was a Lord, I knew there was God, I knew there was Jesus, but I didn't know, I didn't know the right way to come to, to the Lord, and um, there was a brother that met me out one day, and, and he said, um, have you, have you been saved? And again, growing up in a Catholic religion, I, I didn't know what that meant. I'm like, yeah. saved from what? <laughs> I don't know. What are you saving me from? He goes, well, you know that Jesus uh, died for you. I go, yeah, I know that. And he goes, well, he saved by him dying on the cross. Um, he paid for your paid for your sins, basically. Um, his blood bought, bought your price to heaven. All you have to do is believe in him and, and uh, as your savior and your salvation. And I, I didn't really understand what that meant at the time, but he asked me to uh, accept the Lord Jesus in my heart. And, you know, I, I wasn't going to say no. I'm like, I, I love Jesus. I know that much. So I, I said, okay, let me say the prayer. Again, I, I did it subliminally because I, I want Jesus in my life. I, I just didn't know at the time that I could have more of Jesus. Amen. You know what I mean? That's right. So when I was um, saying this prayer, I, I know it was a seed that needed to be watered. And the only way that could happen is if I, I proclaimed Jesus as my Lord and uh, said the prayer. So once that happened, um, I noticed things changing in my life. Um, this is such a big testimony. I can go on for hours about what God's done. But, you know, I just feel that, you know, once you, you make that right step, um, you know, God accepts us the way that we are. Yes. We could be drunk and we can be uh, under substance, you know, like you say, people, uh, promiscuity, er everything. You know, God does not judge you on those things. He wants to see you. He wants you to come to Him. And come He'll take care of the rest. You know, basically, and um, I was I was thinking and, and speaking with the Lord, and I'm like, Lord, you know, yeah, you told me about faith and, um, you know, that we need faith. And He says, yes, you, you need faith, but when once you come with the faith that there's going to be a lot of um, things that are going to come towards you in your life, and I was like, well, what do you mean? And this is where the message came from. He says you have to be more like me yes. and less of you. And to me, I was like, well, okay, I understand. You got to do right. You got to you know walk the right way. You know what right from wrong. You know the Ten Commandments. As a little kid or you know as a young person, again. I went to church every Sunday, well, almost every Sunday when we could, and I only knew a few things. The best part of church for me when I was younger was the part when I got to shake everybody's hands and fellowship. Hey, peace be with you. And I'm like, all right, peace be with you. I was like, yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know nobody, but I like shaking your hand. Hey, you know, you know, it's God's love that he put in me. Yes. Again, I didn't know any better. I didn't know what I was doing. I knew that I was just, hey, I, I, I like you. I, hey, you know, I, I, I stirred up my spirit. As a Catholic person, I, I had no idea, but I liked it. I liked it. 
now years later looking back i'm like you know god god's already had this and we know this yes. it says in his word he's had it pre predestined for us and yes. we already know what's going on but it's up to us to be more like him and less like us and then we can get into the place where he needs for us to be yes. and in order to do that that um you know we we gotta uh again the ten commandments is is a must you know he gives us um the parables and his word of, of what we should do what we ought not to do and um just again living day by day there's so much and you know we can't just uh, go by chance god's word is is the directions it's the directions of, of getting there to where we need to be and what to do everything that you can think of or go through in this life is here in this in this word of our lord you know it's uh it, it's healing there's there's uh there's just so much this book is so precious to me i again i, I gotta declare it and say it at the top of my lungs I, I I am just so happy that Jesus saved me. Amen. Jesus literally saved me. Yeah. And um, yeah. again, we're going to get into the word. I know I'm just going on a little bit about the, the back, back story here and testimony, but God told me, he goes, you need to tell him and step into faith. Yes. I said, okay, Lord, that, that is awesome. I, I know this. And today for this message, he's telling them, you, you need to show them and, and tell them and remind them sometimes of, of what they really need to do. Because, you know, again, being in the flesh, we get caught up with everyday life. Um, we have situations, circumstances, and, you know, we can, get, we can get caught up. Basically, you know, the enemy is here to rob, steal, and destroy. He gets uh, things thrown in our way where, you know, like we're going to get distra distracted or, um, you know, be, you know, just in, in despair. We're going to be worrying, you know. None of that is of the Lord. You know, the Lord said we should not walk in uh, fear. So that's one thing, and we shouldn't. The Lord says, come to me uh, in everything that we do. And he also says if, if we need anything, we should ask. Yes. And we should seek, and we should not, you know. Yes. And if we don't do any of those things, how is he able to operate? You know what I mean? So I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, that's true. Because I remember back in the days, I'd be like, man, I, I wish this and that, I wish this and that. But instead of, um, you know, just saying out loud and, and letting the enemy hear my my moaning and, and, and you know, putting myself down and saying these words and, and you know, just bad things, um, the Lord showed me, he goes, well, you know, you need to turn it around. Instead of being like that, you need to start praising me. You need to start asking me. Now I can provide these things for you. That's right. And not only that, he, he told me, he says, you need to be obedient. Yes. And I'm like... Amen. You know what? I, I, I'm, I'm a young guy. I, I grew up in a family of three. I'm the oldest. Uh, I love my little brother and my little sister. And, um, you know, I kind of uh, had to take, take the lead, although I wasn't around the whole time. I tried to do right and, and uh, you know, help, help them out as I could. Um, believe it or not, they've helped me out a lot. I love you guys. Hopefully you're watching. And, um, you know, I, I couldn't have done a lot without my brother. He showed me a lot of different things. My sister as well. And they both walk in Christ. So thank you, Jesus, for that. Our, our whole family has, has walked with the Lord. So I'm very grateful to that. But the Lord showed me that you need to ask and you need, you need to come to me. You need to be obedient. Yes. And once you do all these things, um, I'll be able to work with you. Again, the Lord wants you to be clean. He wants you to be used as a holy vessel not just myself but all of us and again he gives us the right words the, the equipment to use he shows us by the examples that he's walked through these years um, the books here give us many many numerous accounts on, on the things he's done the things he he, he did um, not only that but um, you know there's there's the the Jewish people that they're the remnants um, you know the, the Lord loved them so much but the Lord loved everybody, and, you know, the Gentiles, as they were saying, um, they knew and they heard of this God, and they wanted, and they seen what the Christians had, and they wanted some of that, and they're like, well, how did we get into that? And, you know, Paul Paul was used in a mighty way. If you read a lot about him, Paul, he, he went through a lot, you know, 
And this is the thing where I see myself doing, you know, Paul was out there persecuting all the people uh, the Lord had, had put in his way. And, you know, God literally stopped him in his tracks. He blinded him there on the road of Damascus, you know. So if the Lord wants you, he's going to get you. <laughs> so there's no way of getting around it. Again, we can procrastinate. We can go around the mountain over and over. We can say, you know what, I, I want God, but I'm doing this right now. You're going to go around the mountain over and over, over and over, until one day you finally say, you know what, enough is enough. I need God in my life. And you've got to surrender it all to Him. And um, when you do that, believe me, uh, things are going to change, change dramatically. So with that being said, let me get into our word here. We're going to start in John 3. And if everybody's ready, we'll go ahead and start. Um, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher, come from God. For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again, for the wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So everyone who is born of the Spirit Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said to him, Are you the teacher of Israel and do not know these things? Most assuredly, I say to you, We speak what we know and testify what we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe? If I tell you heavenly things, no one has ascended to heaven, but he who has come down from heaven. That is, the Son of Man who is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So, I'm just going to uh, go through that a little bit. So, Nicodemus was here asking him, you know, like, Nicodemus is a Pharisee. He, he's one of the smartest guys there. And, you know, the thing I like about the Lord is, you know, he's, he's, he comes to you in truth. And he shed the light, you know, and, and it's not coming in a, in a, a demeanor where he would make the guy feel um, unless worthy or, or not as smart. Jesus did it with love and corrected him and showed him the word in, in the right way and, and still gave to him the truth of what was to be and what was to come. Um, again, it, this is where, where the Lord has spoke with me too. We, we get caught up in the flesh and we think in the flesh. And this is where Jesus said to him, Nicodemus, you know, how, how can you, uh, you know, Nicodemus saying, how can you uh, be born again? You're going to go back into the, to the womb. You know, it, it's crazy to hear that. But uh, such a learned man, you know, you would think that, you know, <laughs> this, this ain't happening, guy. You know, we're, we're, you're so smart that you're not smart, you know. And it's times like that where the Lord speaks to me is where, you know, you got to just sit sometimes and be silent. And let him do the work. Let him do the thinking. Let him do the worrying. Because, uh, again, he says cast all of our burdens on him. For uh, yoke is light and, and weary. Um, again, the, the words that Jesus says is all in love. And is nothing but the truth as well. Um, he didn't rebuke him. But he, he showed him the right and the correct way. And with that, 
Nicodemus was able to see what, what God and Jesus was showing him. So let me continue on here. Um, John three seventeen. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light, and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth... But he who does the truth comes to the light that his deeds may be clearly seen that they have been done in God. Amen. So right there, you know, it's telling us that light's going to conquer evil. The darkness, it does um, hide its face. It does do things, you know, all, all honesty, all truth. Everything is going to be um, shined. It's going to be exposed. There's no way of getting around it. Now, in order to be more like him and less like us, we need to uh, expose these things that are, are wrong in our lives. Um, get rid of things that we once cherished in our lives. Like, you know, back when I was younger, I, I had this collection of CDs, uh, oldies, East Side Story and all this, Art of the Bowl record. You know, I was proud of my, my big old book of CDs, you know. And it's like, you know, God said you shouldn't... Uh, Love any one thing too much, basically. Um, that it could be even called as an idol. Mm. You know, uh, yeah. you you can't love one person. Say, I, I like Michael Jordan so much that that's all I can think of. Michael Jordan, Air Jordan. You know what I mean? That to 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 God, he's a jealous God. That could be an idol. You know. So these little things that we might be in the flesh and not knowing, doing. We got to step back and look at the things in our life and the things that we are involved in or, or surrounded in as well. Because you, there's a saying, you are with who you hang out with or something like that. Well, to me, it kind of can be true, you know. You, you're not necessarily them, but you can get in trouble being with them, you know what I mean? So if you're in the wrong place and, and the lock comes, hey, guess what? You're going to be wrapped up right there with them, you know. It's, I try to stay clear of those kind of things. You know, again, um, God lets us go through things for a reason. And it's not to punish us, but it's a learning experience. Yeah. Not only that, it's uh, it's His will is going to be done. But on the certain things that are happening in our lives, He wants us to reach out to Him. He wants us to go to Him. That can go for things are, are going well in your life or things are, are really, really bad. Again, God is there. He, he wants to be involved in every single thing of your life. Yes, and in order for us to be more like Him and less like us, we got to examine ourselves. And we got to do that daily, which His Word says yes. to do. And again, we got to be prepared with the armor of God. You know, this is a big thing. When your mind's not right, you're not going to be able to see those things. If you're under the substance or you're drinking, you're going to not be a sober mind. You're not going to be able to do these things. If you're in the wrong area, the wrong people, you're going to go get in trouble. You know what I mean? God God wants you to do things accordingly. He's a God of order, not of disorder. Come on. He wants you to be obedient. He wants you to be used as a holy vessel. Yes. You know, there are certain things, like, again, I, I grew up as a Catholic, and, you know, the Catholics have the candles, and, you know, Saint so-and-so, and, you know, this happened, let's put this candle on. I didn't really know much about the candles. I just knew there was one with Jesus, and I liked it because I like Jesus. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, all right, let's light that Jesus one up. And I, you know, I was like, ooh, you know, I feel a little more, you know, stronger. Jesus with us. We got a little light in the back, and looks pretty and whatnot. You know, I didn't know that those are, are considered idols. You know, the, you know, the Catholic Church uses the cross with Jesus still on there. Jesus still on the cross. And if you know anything, you know Jesus ain't on the cross no more. That he died on the cross, and in three days he rose again. Yes. So thank you, Jesus. So we know that. We yes. can't put that statue of Jesus on the cross up there. Yes. You know, again, 
my brothers and sisters, I am not putting anybody down. I am talking to you out of love because, again, once I, I believed in that as well. Yes. And my prayer for you is that the Lord will reveal his true self to you, that the veil would come down, your eyes would shed, your ears would open up, and you would see the true God for what he really is. And that's my prayer to those that are, are still under under that. You know what I mean? Again, it's Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic. If anything, Roman was more with the soldiers and that kind of thing. And, and I asked the Lord about that earlier today. And he goes, well, think about it. The Romans had their own way of doing things. They had their own gods. They all, so why wouldn't the Roman Catholics put their own little thing together? I understand that now. And the Lord spoke to, to this to me earlier. I said, Lord... I, I, you know, I felt kind of bad, like I was judging them. He goes, you're not judging them. This is what's happened because they have their own Zeus, you know, they, they, every, the Greeks, you know what I mean? And this is all false. This is all false. There's only one true God, Amen. Abba Father. Amen. And, you know, I don't yes. mm -hmm. And um, he told me, and I, I, I put this on everything. He told me, you're going to say it and you're going to let my people know. So I am saying it and I am going to be accountable for my words here tonight. Yeah. But he told me, he says, no. You know, my people, they study the Torah. They're Hebrew, Aramic. Uh, Sorry, I can't pronounce that. But he said, this is the people. Yes. That things can be changed. And as you guys know, we've lived this life where we see things changing really quick. Amen. Really quick. Amen. If you look at from the time I was in school to the time now these young girls are in school, how many laws have changed? How many things are they doing now for trying to make a, a boy, a girl? A girl, a boy, you know, there's so many things. And these are the things that the Lord told me to speak about. He said, you can't see these things if you're walking in darkness. you got to be in yes. walking in light. Yes. And you got to get rid of these idols. you got to stop, you know, going, seeing, uh, you know, burning the, the whatever things they burn. And, you know, the little sage, yeah. The, there's just so many things. And, you know, these are... Things that the enemies put there for people to believe in. But again, we all know this is the wrong thing to believe in. It says in his word, they were always looking for something to idolize. They didn't need to they didn't need to go make a golden calf. They didn't need to go do this. God is there. He told them, He spoke to them. Come right now. Who else is gonna who else is gonna appear on Mount Moriah, you know, and tell tell, tell uh, Moses, hey, you know, this is what's going down. You know what I mean? He gave them the Ten Commandments. Yes, yes. He was literally putting himself out there on blast, telling him, hey, you guys are my people. You guys, this is what you got to do. Yes. Now get it together. Now, of course, here we go in the flesh. I'm talking to our past, yeah. We're talking to our past Israelite brothers and sisters. Yeah. They had to go around the mountain. 40 years, can't get out of Egypt. They're in bondage, man. Because why? They got caught in the flesh. They were looking for something that shouldn't have been there. They were idolizing things that shouldn't have been there. You know what I mean? Saddam uh, and Gomorrah is another yeah. example. Yeah. Oh, we know that story. Yes. We don't. We don't want that. We don't yeah. want that. And God shared with me and put in my heart to speak this tonight. That yes. again, the message is for yes. more, more like Him, less like us. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, again, uh, <laughs> the Lord is just like I. I didn't even come with no notes. This is all I need right here. The Holy yeah. Spirit's doing the yeah. rest. Because I told him, Lord, you gave me three messages to speak from me. Yes. And I, he goes, I know. And I was like, what am I going to write about? Don't worry about it. <laughs> he said, don't worry about it. Come on. I'll give it to you. You do the same with you? Yes. I, I know my God. And he's a great God. He's a good God. And I love yeah. the Lord. And this is the thing that I'm excited. You know, I was um, a little nervous. I wasn't scared. Last week yes. when I spoke on my birthday, I'm like, you know, I've always wanted to deep in my heart. The Lord knows that. And, that, and Pastor David probably got that in the spirit. I've always wanted to come up here and yeah. share God's word. Yes. Um, I've been prophesied to be a pastor. You know, they ask me, hey, you want to be a pastor? I'm like, you know what? I'll be whatever God wants me to be. You know, yeah. as far as I know right now, I'm an evangelist. I'm a leader in the church. I'm, an, I'm a God's servant, basically. God. Whatever he wants to do with me is what he's going to yes. do with me. And I'm going to surrender myself to him to be used in that way. But again, um, the Lord told me, you know what? He said, son, you just got to let these things be known. Let the people know that they got to get rid of their, their things that they once possessed or, or, or idolized. They, they got to start by cleaning their house out. Yeah. Cleaning their house out literally yes. means 
go to your house. Go look in those boxes and your junk drawer. I know that we all got one. And start throwing them little scriptures away that, you know, somebody might have handed us or left us in our door. You know what I'm saying? We all know it. You know, oh, they are. But you know what? God bless them. God bless them because they're just as loved um, by God as we are, you know? So there's nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They, they need prayer as well. And, and one day they're going to see the true light of what God really is. Um, again, you need to self-examine yourself, your house. Um, the things that we're doing in our lives that, um, you know, that we can start off, that we see in the flesh, you know. If I know, if I know, hey now. Uh -oh. That might have been my 15 minutes. Hold on, let me see how much, me see how much time I got. <laughs> I could go on all night. I'm going to pass it like... <laughs> No, but uh, God is good. I'm just saying. You know, I was sharing. I think I think it was somebody at, at work. I think I was sharing with it. I said, you know, it was hard for me to to go to church and then get on the mic. You know, I started here playing the drums, and then they're like, hey, get on the microphone. So I started singing, and I like the microphone. I'm like, hey. You know? And now the pastor's got me up here speaking, and then I'm like, hey, I like speaking too. Now and like. You know. But I, I'm very, very humbled that, you know, I've given the opportunity to speak tonight. Again, um, you know, I just wanted to read that, uh, John 3, again. Um, it's just, it's just a, a little bit of, of what God's been speaking to me. Again, you know, we all have gifts that the Lord wants us to have, that we already have. He wants us to use them and activate them and, and you know, let's get this thing going here. But again, um, if there's anything that I, I, I would ask that you would take with you tonight is, um, again, examine yourself and look at the obvious things that, that you know that probably shouldn't be there. And if you don't really know, ask. Yes. He'll let you know. Yeah. The Holy right. Spirit is there to help you. Amen. Okay? So I just, um, just want to, I guess I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, God, God is good, guys. Really, yeah. again, you just... You know, the things that we don't know, He knows. The things that we can't do, He can do. Yes. Yeah. Amen. So if there's something that's troubling us or, or something that you may just feel like something's off, you know what? Go to Him. Go to Him and say, Lord, I don't know what this is, but I don't like it. Get rid of it. In Jesus' name. That's all He asks. That's all He asks. And again, um, for those that are watching tonight, um, I hope that this mes message has spoken to you tonight as well. Um, again, I got to speak this on, on my heart that if you don't know Jesus, that you should um, get to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Um, and if you don't know him, uh, I would ask that you would say the prayer of salvation, that you would um, um, admit that he died on the cross and, and three days later rose from the grave, Amen. that he died for our sins. And that um, we would come to repent to him and, and let him know him to be our, our Lord and Savior for our salvation. You know, um, there's a, a few people that I have in my circle that have seen me going through rough times, bad times, and yet they still were there for me. Uh, this could be family, this could be friends that I have. And at the end of the day, I... Um, you know, I just want to say that we're all going to have a moment of time where it's going to be tough, you know. And what God has shown me is that when these times present themselves, that we should reach out to Him. You know, I, I had my spiritual mother, the name of Kathy. When I first started walking with the Lord, she, she would tell me, you know, I was all on fire. You know, I still am on fire for God. And I'd be like, you know, oh, guess what? This, the Lord spoke to me today. He said this. She's like, oh, yeah? And then when I have a, a rough day, a rough week, I'm like, oh man, Kathy, guess what? This and that happened. I don't know what she should. I don't know what I should do. What, what should I do? She goes, well, what did the Lord say? I said, oh no, you didn't. She said, what did the Lord say? I'm like, I don't know. She goes, well, you need to ask. I'm like, ooh. And right there, that discipline by her telling me that means I'm not God, son. You need to go to Him. So if her not being obedient to God's word. And telling me that every time I said, hey, Kathy, what should I do? You know, she's prophetic. She, God speaks directly to her like he can do with all of us. He does with me as well. But she made sure and made it a point saying, I'm not going to tell you. You need to go to him first. And then you let me know what he said and we'll talk about it. <laughs> so praise God. 
you know what, God can do all things, and, um, you know, it's just so much, so much uh, joy that I have that, you know, God and Jesus saved me. Again, brothers and sisters, I, I, I know we all go through heartaches, we all go through trials, tribulations, and I've been through a lot, I've been through a lot, but, you know, I, I got to say that if it wasn't for those things that I went through, I wouldn't be here now saying how good God is and how strong He made me. You know, people look at me all day long like, man, you're always happy and what's going on with you? And, Ooh, what? You know, where, where did you just come from? The club or what? I'm like, no. I'm drunk. I'm drunk in the spirit right now. Jesus, yeah. Jesus got me, boy. You know what I mean? And I'm like, you know, and, and this is the thing that I, I love about the Lord, you know, no matter what, at the end of the day, um, I still got issues. I still got things that I need to work on. I got to Come on now. He knows. And we all do. But the thing is, you got to be able to be be obedient to let him work on you. Let yes. him work in your yes. situation. Because when you go against him, he won't go against your will. You know what I mean? So you got to come to him in a, in a loving way. Say, Lord, I don't want to be this way. I don't like this certain situation. Yes. Help me to overcome it. You know, give me the strength. Make it go away. Whatever you do, reach out to the Lord. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Whatever it takes. You know what I mean? We all deserve happiness. God wants us all to be happy. Um, he has a special plan for all of us. You know, one day I, I can't wait for all of us to be there in heaven throwing crowns at him. You know what yeah. I mean? That's what it says yeah. in his word. Yeah. We're all going to be throwing crowns there at his feet yeah. and praising him. No more sadness. You know what I mean, guys? And, you know, again, this is only temporary. We're not, this yes. ain't, this ain't, um, this ain't the heaven. This is just, this, we just got to get through this. And yes. we're going to be there with God. We're going to be there with Jesus, our oh, loved ones, yeah. you know, new bodies, new, new, everything. This is a new, new heaven. You know what I mean? And I just get overwhelmed of the, of the time and the, and the, the day when, when this is going to, going to happen, you know? So for myself speaking, I want to be ready. I want to be able to go to heaven, you know. I, I don't want a chance not going to heaven. I don't want a chance, well, you know what, I, I'm not ready right now, but, you know, let me let me wait when I, you know, finish this, whatever I got to do. And, and you know what I mean? The Lord's coming. We can't right. take the chance of not making it to heaven. And I can't stress it enough for everybody that I've ever met. You know, that, this is my prayer, and I, the devil hates my guts. And it's all right. I already know who won. I already know who won. Right. I'm going to keep declaring that my prayer is for everybody in this world to be saved. There, anybody that I come in contact, anybody that I see there at work, at Costco, everywhere, anybody that comes by me, they're, they're getting prayed for. They don't even know. They're asking me about the tomatoes and this and potatoes and all over here and produce. I'm like, yeah, I don't Jesus name. <laughs> but believe it or not, believe it or not, God is moving. He's putting a lot of people in my path. And they're just like, you know what? And I said, that's right. That's right. Because um, God is doing an amazing thing in all of us again, guys. So I know I'm probably getting close to time, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. But again, I just want to encourage you guys to stay the course, continue to follow the cross, you know. Anything can be done, it can be done, and will be done by, by the Lord, you know what I mean? Again, all he asks is that you go to him, you know. Praise him in the morning when you wake up, you know. If you're, you're whatever it is, keep him in your mind all day long. I'm just like, I've been like grooving out and got music on, I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm like, man, this guy pumped up. I'm like, but I want what he got. And I told him, you know what I got? I got Jesus. Amen. That's what I want to say. Amen. But um, I just want to thank you guys tonight for uh, listening to the message. You know, again, this is all the Holy Spirit. I don't have any notes prepared. Um, the Lord told me to tell this, and I'm telling it. I'm coming in obedience to Lord Jesus Christ, uh, but Father. So again, guys, um, I just want to thank you for tonight, and uh, hopefully I'll be up here soon. I don't know when, but when the time's right, but we'll be ready with another powerful message. So I just want to thank you guys all for your time and your patience, and may this word be with you in your spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Excellent job, Marcelino. Amen. God is good. Well, 
we the next one we have coming is Sister Lupe. Amen. Next week, and you don't miss out. Amen. She has a prophetic voice. Amen. And she did good on Wednesday too. And she tore it up on Wednesday. Amen. That's what I heard. God is good. Amen. In the book of Hebrews, the word of God says that God makes his ministers into flames. Yes. And he makes his angels into wind. Yes, amen. amen. I believe the angels are blowing on the fire. Can I get an amen? The fire is blowing. Come on. See, we got let the fire come on us. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. God wants to give us that. That contagious faith, amen. I say contagious faith, contagious, contagious faith. faith, amen. That we spread that fire, amen. And I believe that fire is going to spread, and God's going to send angels to breathe upon that fire. How many want that fire to grow, amen? amen. Yes. We need that Hallelujah. fire to grow and expand. What we're going to do, we're going to get into prayer right now. I, I, I know that God spoke today, amen. amen. Someone could just dim the lights right there. You can do it, James. Thank you, Brother James. And just, the altar is open. Amen. I, I encourage you guys to pray at the altar because it's the altar that sanctifies us. What an altar is. It's a place of sacrifice. Amen. And every day, we need to sacrifice our flesh. Amen. We need to sacrifice our flesh. We need to circumcise our flesh. Matter of fact, that's a sign of covenant. That we are in covenant with God. Come on, let God touch you today. Hallelujah. You can pray right there on your chair. We have much to pray for. Thank you, Jesus. somebody who makes a definite decision to be blameless, to yield to God, to obey God, to yield to God, to surrender to God. 
God is able to make all grace abound towards you. Amen. God is able to do the supernatural in your life. Amen. I believe that God is calling us to the next level. God is calling us to yield to him. God is calling us to obey him. Amen. God loves you so much. Come on. He's not going to give up on you. He's not going to give up on you. He's holding on to you. But he's calling us to obey in this new chapter, in this new season, he's calling us to obey him. All the glory is yours. All the glory is yours. Yahshua, Gloria a ti, Señor. Gloria a ti, Señor. Que no There is freedom to shout. There is freedom to dance. Amen. There is freedom to praise the Lord. God's taking us to the next level. He's taking you to the next level. Let's just soak in the presence of God.
set things free. They can't hurt you, sister. The enemy cannot hurt you. You're going to overcome. And I pray right now that you heal Brandy, heal her, completely heal her. Make her whole in the name of Jesus. Receive, you got to receive this healing. I see in my mind, I see almost arrows being pulled out of you. But God is healing the wounds. As soon as the arrows come out, He's healing the wounds. He's healing the wounds. So we cover right now Brandy, Father, in prayer. We cover her, God. We thank you that you're healing her and you love her so much, my God. Don't we see those words? The enemy's trying to hurt you. Don't receive it. Don't receive it. So, Father, I pray God strengthen our sister, strengthen her. She's so loved by you. We thank you that you are with her. You can be setting you apart. Thank you, Jesus. That's awesome. It's a beautiful thing that's happening to you right now, Brandon. He's, he's sanctifying you. He's setting you apart. We must decrease in order for God to increase. And you're coming to a place of sacrifice which is going to bring tears and hurt. And you're going to leave with joy. You're going to leave with joy because the hand of God is working in you. We thank you that she's a new creation in Christ Jesus. Just leave it at the altar. Just leave it all on the altar. God is going to counsel you. God is going to show you what to do. And God is going to meet all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let's get deep, church. Let's uproot, let's uproot anything the enemy has put in there. It's not good enough to get rid of the tree. We gotta get to the roots. Let's uproot, let's uproot that darkness, let's uproot it out of our hearts. Let's trust God. Come on, let God use you now, just like our brother Marcelino was sharing. We don't have to walk around the mountain. We don't have to walk in the desert for 40 years. We don't have to die in the wilderness. We don't have to wait for the next generation to get it right. We could get it right today. And it starts by trusting God. It starts by surrendering to God. And it starts by making a commitment to be obedient to God. To follow the Lord His way and not our way. Not our will be done, but His will be done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, His will be done. His will. His will. Father, we pray for kingdom power. Kingdom power that your will may be done. Kingdom power. Kingdom power. So just one minute. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stop talking. Will you talk to God this one minute in prayer? Just open your heart to Him.
I know that, Father, from heaven, Father, you can see, Father God, that we are desperate for you, God, that we love you, Father God. And, Father God, you will meet us right here where we're at, Father God. We thank you, Father, for the fire you put in us, Father God, today, that you've encouraged us, Father God. Through the word, Father God, we thank you, Father God, for what you've done, Lord. We thank you for putting a gift in Brother Marcelino, Father, to speak your word, Father God. And we know, Father God, that, well, Father, it was a powerful word, Father God, and that, Lord, you want us to forsake all and just to follow you. We are sure that you are faithful, Father God. Lord God, some of us may be walking through uncharted territory, God, but Lord God, you say, God, just to trust you, Father God, to abide in you and you will abide in us. For if a tree not abide in the, in the, in the, if a branch not abide on the tree, it cannot profit or produce anything, Lord God. So, Father God, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for your holy word, Father God. We praise you, Father God. Lord, we praise you. We give you all the glory, Lord. Father, we just thank you for what you're going to do, Father, these these next few days, Father God. We pray, God, that you will put us in, 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 in places, Father, where we can make a difference, Father God. Lord, bring us back to your heart, which is the heart of, uh, uh, of prayer, of intimacy with you, Lord God. Father God, we, we just love you so much, Lord God. Your word says that you loved us first, that we love you because you loved us first, Lord God. And none of us wanted to come and become Christians or anything, but Lord, you chose us, Lord, for your word says that you chose the foolish things out of the world to confound the wise, Father God. And so, Father, we just thank you, Lord God. We thank you for your everlasting love, Lord God, that you are forever faithful. Your word says that your mercies endure forever, Father God. As long as we keep coming to you, we keep humbling ourselves. We keep saying, God, we don't have it all figured out, Lord God, but you can make it right, Lord God. You are the one that can fix any situation. You can use broken pieces, God, and you can put it back together so beautifully, Father God, and create a, such a masterpiece, Father Father, as your word says, we are your masterpiece, Father God. We thank you for loving us that much, Lord, that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die for us on the cross, and whoever will believe in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life, and, and that we have become new creations in you, Christ Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're going to continue to speak to us. Thank you for feeling us. Thank you for continuing to teach us all things that we need to know, Lord God, for your word says that we don't even need anyone to teach us. The Holy Spirit will teach us every single day. Lord. He'll teach us everything that we need to know. So, Father God, we just thank you for this evening, Lord. We worship you. We love you. We adore you, God. And we pray, God, that you would just seal this whole evening, God, in your mighty name, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, God. We just thank you so much. We just want to thank everybody for coming out today. I think it was just very effective. God moved in a mighty, mighty way today. Thank you, Brother Marcelino, for preaching yes. the word of God. I mean, we were so proud of him. Aren't we proud of Brother Marcelino? I was like a happy, like, mother hen. I was just like, oh, my gosh, you did so good, you know? He, very, very powerful. It's, the anointing is getting stronger and stronger. I want to encourage you guys, be back next Friday. We're calling this Fire Fire Friday, okay? Because we know that God just moves in a special way these Fridays. Sister Lupa is going to come and speak on Friday. And you guys better come out because I'm telling you, we had such an amazing time. With just the women on, on Wednesday. It was such a time of intimacy. A lot of breakthroughs. A lot of things that needed to be, you know... Um, healed and mended yes. and everything just just happened that day Amen. holy spirit took over <laughs> and um so we want to invite friend. everyone to come out on yes. friday because we know next friday know that it. um she's going to bring a powerful word okay Amen. so um again we'll see you guys on sunday god willing Amen. bring your friends bring your family amen we know, so let them know the church is under construction, yes. but I, I see a beautiful church already, amen? Like yeah. Pastor David said, you guys are beautiful, amen? So we make the church, amen? So praise God for that. So we'll see you guys here on Sunday, 11 a.m. Get ready for new worship, amen, this Sunday. We're excited for the new songs, and um, God bless you guys. If you guys want more coffee, there's more coffee, there's waters. In the, in the white refrigerator, just open up the door, there's waters right there. 
Um, if you guys are hungry or you need a snack, let us know. I, Sister uh, uh, Restoring Hope provided um, snacks. So they're in the freezer. Uh, Rafael and Luque and Jacob, they provided food. So if you want some food, we just got to get them and just put them in the refrigerator. They're, they're yummy. They're like breakfast. If you guys love breakfast sandwiches, pancakes, and sausages, it's just amazing. So... I'll grab one of those. <laughs> Baby is hungry. <laughs> but um, we love you guys, okay? We love you guys, and, and we keep you guys in prayer. Amen? All right. God bless you guys. How many had a good time tonight? Amen? Hallelujah. All right. We'll see you guys on Sunday. Yes. Very sweet. Very good. Very good. It was time for them to find out.